check out that stalk this is a georgia creole collar and granted you know we're not eating them because they're growing out of the leech field <laughs> but um yeah they're actually right next to a bunch of mustard greens isn't that interesting they're actually forming a kind of a cabbagey kind of head versus the greens over there and they're just getting huge and they're all the same age this is what's going on with this other stuff here Look at that one little thing of peppermint taken off over there the other ones are just now coming up and they're all the same age see that we're getting some uh little butternuts coming on there and some of these just look pitiful <laughs> i'm not gonna lie because they're not supposed to be out here look at those tomatoes still kicking and it's been over freezing a whole bunch those are some sweetie tomatoes right there and there's about 35 of them on that plant right now and it's just in a uh, a little dollar store bowl kind of like this yeah it's in a little bowl with a handle little plastic flimsy flexible whatever you want to call it yeah these sweetie tomatoes they're just a little experiment to see if they'll survive if they're covered outside and most of them are there's my pepper i kind of chopped off the top of it to you know give it better chance to grow these peppers that are in it right now and i have not overwintered it i have noticed that the uh stalk is kind of cracked a little bit but that's the only damage i've seen from it and that was probably me cutting it and not necessarily the cold The buckets are still doing good um some of them need to be watered which i was hoping it would rain last night and it did not so we've eaten um a few salads from this lettuce here and it's still growing very good those are some uh, scarlet runner beans and i think there's another volunteer butternut squash coming up there and this is the morning glory that's dying out on this thing here and it's produced a ton of um seed which most people don't want to plant morning glory but the this was a kind of special variety so we're gonna keep up with that more kale lots of spinach and tender greens these beans look at that they're still kicking too. They get covered up when it's freezing though. So that's enough for, you know, at least a few servings. But I mean, they're mainly just an experiment to see what can grow. Now the nasturtiums are getting pretty large. There's lots of flowers in there. And the bees are loving coming out and finding them. Because when it gets warm enough, the bees come back out. There is a squash growing out there, but um, I think it's a pumpkin and not a regular squash. Check this out, though. This okra was also from the ones back there. It's a seed from the ones back there. And it's not supposed to be here, but it is. Because I'm doing a little experiment to see what will grow in the cold and what won't. Because you want to grow as much food as possible, right? And if it does, okay then I plan on doing a lot more and those are carrots the carrots get covered up almost every night they got left open today or last night because it was warm enough and the frogs aren't out <laughs> to dig holes all in them and bury beneath them so yep that's my little bucket garden these are 
these are the peach tree greens and you may not be able to tell but each one of those leaves is about two feet or more long oh well, some of these have just started and i threw um a couple of swiss chard out here in the uh, grass clippings to see you know if it'll come up or not along with some georgia crayole collard and they're starting to come out now now all of these tall tall things right here these are all apple tree saplings that are just coming up i want to show you something that um my dad built onto his side there's a smoker in here that he just um built a room for so that we can start preserving a little bit more of the meat that we get.